Before we write any code, let's just analyze the three websites and we will see how they use the header tag in order to analyze what is the content that is wrapped inside this tag. The first thing to do here is you need just to type header inside the search form, then it will select this header tag inside the document. However, be aware of confusing this head and header. They aren't the same. So this head is used to put some information about the document and maybe you need to use some meta or to link this page into CSS file of JavaScript. But in general, this header represents a container for introductory content or a set of navigation links. And to understand that, let's just highlight the header tag from the document. And if we take a look here, we see three main parts. There's three main parts of the logo and the article, which has some links, which is the navigation and a search. If we click on this topic right here, you will have the search form. Okay, let's just click on this button to hide the search form. This is what do we have as a header. Let's just move to the next one. After I type header, on the search form, I have this header highlighted right here. I have the same elements, so logo, navigation, and search form. This is what is wrapped inside this header tag. And for the last one, we have some elements here, logo, navigation, as the same as the latest ones. The only difference that we have here is a call to action links. We have two links, submit news and sign in, that they are wrapped inside the header. So after analyzing this three websites, we saw that the header can contain three of the most used content. We have logo, search form, and navigation control. And some Sometimes you can find yourself wrapping an authorship information, for example, name and username and avatar about of a document inside a header. And in general, this is what you find out yourself wrapping inside the header. And a header can also contain headings from H1 to H6, but it is not required. Okay, now let's just write some code. What do I have here? I have three main elements. So the first one is the logo, which is inside the image tag. I have some links wrapped inside the nav, which defines that there is a navigation. And for the last element, element, I have the search form and we'll learn how to use this input tag through the next lesson. So I can wrap all of this element within one tag, which is the header. Okay, let's just write header. Then I'll just copy all of that. Let's just cut that and pass it right here. We have now a header that groups some introductory elements and the navigational controls. 